Hey guys, and welcome back to Steamworks. So there's not a lot of things out there that aren't surrounded by laws and regulations. And today we're talking about just that, a boiler that is designed off of just that, a state's boiler code. So early in the 1900s, a law pertaining to operations of steam boilers was adopted to the state of Ohio. The law in more words or less states that a facility shall not operate a boiler over 360 square feet without an operator. There are of course several stipulations that apply surrounding these conditions, but in short, this code requires that any boiler over that size as per ASME sizing regulations will then require a licensed operator. Now this for obvious reasons can create some conflicts for many facilities as some operations are 24 seven and or the facility may not have full-time personnel for boiler room monitoring and operation. So with today's boilers, the safeties, the controls and redundancy inside the boiler room make for a very dependable and safe operating equipment considering that all proper maintenance and safety checks are performed regularly. Yet with regards to Ohio, the law is the law. Enter the Ohio Special. The Ohio Special is a name given for a fire tube boiler with ranges from 80 horsepower up to 250 horsepower that do not have the heating surface that would typically apply to those sized outputs. Simply put, the design of these boilers are just smaller heating surfaces with larger inputs. So this of course will have an effect on the typical efficiency expectations of boilers with those outputs but with advances in both design and combustion engineering standards, these boilers are still quite efficient. Now, many of today's fire tube boilers have what uh, a five square foot of heat transfer per boiler horsepower. So for example, a 150 horsepower boiler would have typically a 750 square foot of heating surface. In the state of Ohio, this would create a dilemma for a plant that chose not to have a full-time operator. The Ohio Special would provide that same horsepower to a heating surface of 358 square feet, thus giving it just less than half of that typical square footage of heat transfer per boiler horsepower. Now, some facilities in Ohio may choose to utilize multiple units for their steam demands in order to comply with state laws that would otherwise require a full-time operator. So aside from heating surface sizes, these boilers are much the same as any other fire tube boiler with both high pressure and low pressure steam applications. Now, as previously mentioned, boilers are quite safe, especially with regards to the advances within the industry, yet many would still agree that having properly trained personnel to monitor and operate any power boiler is essential. Anytime a boiler's maintenance or safety checks are neglected, a horsepower rating or a heating surface size is not going to take that into consideration, and it could certainly be a dangerous situation. And so it's always best practice to have competent and trained persons that are not only operating these boilers, but are performing the proposed maintenance at, at the set intervals. So the Ohio Special is just that. It's a special case boiler designed to simply comply with a law that dates back for several decades. All right, guys, there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, be sure and hit that thumbs up button and also make sure and subscribe to our channel. And when we talk about operations and safety and being properly trained, it's a good time to mention STEAM School. We got a couple more seats left in our upcoming class. If you want more information on that, you can get in touch with me at this number right here. Other than that, we'll see you next week for another STEAMWorks.